And so here, here this guy, the, the Senate staff, oh, yeah, yeah, what we might do here is uh, – because budget reconciliation is what they used to pass Obamacare. It is a trick. It is a tool. It's a way to 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 um, skirt around the filibuster and prevent the need for cloture, which is 60 votes. And that's why you need 60 votes to pass anything. And the Republicans are talking about doing the same thing to the Democrats that the Democrats did to them. Douglas Holtz Eakin, former director of the Congressional Budget Orifice, said if Republicans are serious about enacting tax reform next year, they should aim for 60 Senate votes. He said the last time, the last time reconciliation was used was 2010 when the Democrats, shy of a filibuster-proof supermajority in the Senate, needed it to make changes to Obamacare. Well, Republicans should take the bill that the Democrats passed and you run reverse. You get rid of it wholesale, said Holt Eakin. If it's designed to send a message vote anyway, you might as well be aggressive. It's not about the legislating. So the, the purpose of this story is to inform us that Republicans are thinking about going through the motions but not actually doing anything, just talking about it hoping to send a message that illustrates how different they are from the Democrats. But they're going to stop short at actually having final votes to repeal this little part of it and this little part. Now, you may have seen, as I have, story after story after story about the Republican plan to get rid of Obamacare piecemeal, attack it over here, attack it over there. We'll do this here, we'll do this there, and the little little chunks. Not go for one big repeal, making ourselves a smaller target, a little chunk here, a little chunk there. But what this is saying, well, they're going to do that, but not, not really. They're going to do it just for messaging purposes. Got to take a time out. We'll come back and continue. I have been thinking, by the way, of... Uh, additional ways of explaining how these two parties, the leadership of these two parties, have become almost identical. And I used to say it's because the Republicans were scared to death of the media and afraid of being critical of Obama to be called racist. I think it's actually more than that. Back in just a second. 